Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to this video in our series on IB economics. Today we are looking at your extended essay. More specifically, in today's lesson, we will be learning about writing your reflections. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. As you already know, the new extended essay criteria includes six marks for engagement. That's six marks out of 35, meaning these reflections are worth 17.6% of your extended essay mark. Those six marks are almost enough to bring you from a C grade to an A grade. This is a lot of marks for just 500 words. That's 500 words in total, for all of the three reflections. This video will show you what the rubric is asking for, and how to show these things in your writing. You will be writing your three reflections on the new reflections on planning and progress form which was updated in March 20, 20. In short, the reflections are meant to prove the authenticity of your work. You do this by talking us through the path you took as you wrote your EE. So you will show us some of your thinking, decision making, and planning along the way. And you will try to show that you're taking an intellectual approach and have a lot of personal engagement. Here's what they, those IB big shots, don't want, what they do want, and how to do it. One, don't just describe what you've done. Instead, let us understand your thinking processes. Reflect on the decisions you've already made. What decisions were hard to make or made poorly so far and how have you dealt with these? Have you found it hard, or possibly easy, to make good research decisions? Discuss something you could have done differently or better. And lastly, for this section, be yourself. We want this to be written in your own words. 2. Don't make it seem like you've only picked the easy to get information. Instead, show that you have been careful about choosing your sources and you haven't just used whatever came up first on Google. Show us that you have taken time to think creatively about what kind of information will be required to answer your question and then that you've taken the time to try to find this exact information. Reflect on your planning so far. Have you underplanned or overplanned? Or not planned for the right aspects of your work so far? Have you found it hard or easy to plan your work? What setbacks have you faced in your planning and how have you dealt with these? What would you do differently, in your planning, next time you do research like this? 3. Don't make it seem like you're, mindlessly, just doing what your teacher is telling you to do. Instead, show that you have really taken the lead on this research. Show us that you see this research as interesting and important, in a genuine way. What sub-questions have you been asking yourself as you did your research? These would be the questions that help you answer your main research question. What do you find interesting about this topic? 4. Don't try to hide your mistakes. Instead, tell us about some of your mistakes and what you've learned from them. We love this because it shows that you are becoming a person who doesn't need a teacher to improve. You can notice your own mistakes and learn from them. What have you learned about yourself already, as a result of doing this work? What has proven more difficult than you expected and how have you dealt with this? 5. Don't worry about making it seem too academic. Instead, be comfortable explaining your journey in your natural voice. As you'll see in the rubric below, the IB is hoping the reflections can help you demonstrate the authenticity of your work by you explaining it in a student voice. A few more suggestions. Here is a list that I've adapted from the IBE guide, which might also give you some ideas. It says you can reflect on the approaches and strategies you've chosen, and how well these have gone. The approaches to learning or ATL skills, you have developed through the EE research and how you've developed as a learner. The ATLs include thinking, communication, social, self-management, 
and research skills. How your conceptual understandings have developed or changed as a result of your research. For example, have you learned how to apply course ideas in a new context? Explain some setbacks you faced in your research and how you overcame them, or worked around them. Share some questions that emerged as a result of your research. What you would do differently if you were to start this research again? Want to sneak a peek at the top mark ban from the rubric? The rules that we have gone into here are my best thinking about how you can produce reflections that can be described by the top, 5 to 6, mark band. It's worth having a look at the top mark band yourself. There is a link to this in the description below. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.